All right, let's see what's happening. We're preparing for some nice weather here tonight over on Folly Beach and a pretty good day on the beach for tomorrow as the tide continues to go out about 730. That'll be the low tide. Got uh, some folks out there right now, so let's check off on our weather scorecard. That sunshine we saw today. Warm temperatures got into the upper 80s, low 90s. No rainfall, but the tropics are busy. Got to put an X there. We are looking at potentially a substantial storm that will intensify as it gets organized, moves out of the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. Helene is the next name on the list. It will become Helene most likely. And right now the official forecast makes it a category three or a major hurricane by the time we get to Thursday afternoon. So this is something we'll be watching for our neighbors to the south. And then after that, a landfall, we'll have to watch and see what happens in Georgia and the Carolinas and then bending back more to the north and west. The closer it is to us, the more impacts we will see the farther west the lesser impacts we will see when we're talking about impacts, we're talking about potential for very heavy rainfall, gusty winds, even isolated tornadoes, and of course the marine influences in terms of surge. Most of our spaghetti models are kind of clustered more to the west, but there are a couple that are kind of outliers more east, and that would be the track we do not want to see down the road Thursday night and into Friday morning. So here's our European model. As we move through time, you can see that rain shield making its way in towards the west coast of Florida. That is west Wednesday evening and then as the storm continues to pull more north, we start to see that rain shield move into our area. So at the very least, even if you're far displaced from the center, you're going to feel some impacts at least in the form of some rain and gusty winds. High pressure now to the east. What we think that is going to do, that's going to help to push the storm more back to the north and west. And you're going to see that in the upper level winds. So let's follow the storm. There it is, Helene, most likely. We've got high pressure offshore. We've got a low pressure that it's going to be forming and moving down to the south. So watch as we move through time with the high pressure offshore and the low here, it's going to be pinched right in between. If that high weakens a little bit, allowing it to move more east, our impacts could be greater. If it doesn't moves more west, our impacts will be lesser. But still, at this point, it's early. We certainly can't answer all the questions right now. All right, 71 inland, 76 of the beach, partly cloudy, a bit muggy under a waning gibbous moon. About 60% of the moon seen tonight. 89, that'll be our high for tomorrow, our three degree guarantee, 87 on Wednesday. And if we did look at a timeline based on the current track and the current speed, for us it would be Thursday night and early on Friday morning, mid 80s. That's why we've heightened that chance of rain, that probability up to 60%. Still a bit iffy for the weekend, so we've got to hang tight there. If you've got some outdoor plans, stay with us over the next few days. Islands and beaches, great beach day tomorrow, 81. Not too bad on Wednesday, and then here comes the rain and the gusty winds on Thursday and Friday. And here comes our three-degree guarantee right on the money today for the Low Country Food Bank. That means we have another $100 in budget blinds headed their way. So far, $1,500 is money in the bank.